Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about symmetry, we talk about symmetrical objects, asymmetrical objects. So why do we talk about that? That's because not every object possess symmetry within it. Some objects are symmetrical, some objects are not. So when we talk about symmetrical figures, these are those figures which possess symmetry. That is, they have identical parts within them. Because you might also come across objects which do not have identi identical parts at all. So in that case, they will not have any kind of symmetry. Right? So in this case, uh, when we talk about symmetrical figures, let's think of this picture. So what do you see? It's, it's like uh, a circular sheet of paper, but the outside or the boundary is not exactly like a circle, but it's like a wavy circle. Okay, so let's say that you have a sheet of paper of the shape. So if I ask you if this sheet of paper is symmetrical or not, so how would you know if it is symmetrical or not? So let us look at this picture and let's try to identify how this pic this uh, particular uh, figure has symmetry. Okay, so now let's imagine a particular line which would divide it into two equal halves. So when you consider this line, let's say, just imagine that you have drawn a line like this and then what do you see that the paper the, the entire sheet of paper is now divided into two parts. This is one part and this is the other part. So these are the two parts which look to be exactly identical. Now whether it has symmetry or not, for that what we need to do, we need to see if these two parts, they exactly overlap or they exactly coincide with each other or not. So see, th there are two different ways in which we can divide this sheet of paper into two equal halves. One is this option, the other one is this option where you divide it from here and that's how you get these two halves. Now let's see what happens. Let's say I take one of these half, place it here. Now let's take the other half and let's try to position this half on the previous half. So what do you see? That the two halves exactly coincide over each other. Right? So you could place one, one half could exactly cover the other half showing that the two halves are exactly identical to each other. So that means this sheet of paper had symmetry. So this is an example of a symmetrical figure. So symmetrical figure means that there would exist one or more lines along which you would be able to divide that object into two halves such that the two halves are exactly identical and they would coincide with each other completely. So that is like the complete definition of a symmetrical figure. Right. Okay. Now let's talk about asymmetrical figures. So at the moment we talk about asymmetrical, something which is not symmetrical is asymmetrical. Now you might feel that, okay, in the last slide, we saw a rectangular sheet of paper that was also symmetrical. Now we saw a kind of circular sheet of paper. This was also symmetrical. So does that mean that all objects would be symmetrical? No, not at all. Let us look at another sheet of paper which is cut in such a way that you know this side like almost half of the boundary is plain some part of the boundary is wavy and some part is like totally rough so this is how the shape of the circular sheet of paper is so now you have to tell whether this sheet of paper is symmetrical or not so let us do the same exercise with this figure as well what we did with the previous one so what we do, let's assume that we consider a line like this which divides it into two equal halves. Now tell me, just looking at this, do you think that this half and this half are exactly identical with each other? No, they are not. When you look at the boundary of this half, this is, this is completely plain. But when you look at the boundary of this half, it is wavy somewhere, it is rough somewhere. So you know, it, it's all haphazard. So definitely these two halves are not identical. Now, just by looking at the two halves, if you see that they are not identical, there is no question that the two halves would coincide with each other or they would overlap with each other. So when they are not identical, how will they overlap with each other? They will not, right? Okay. Now you might say that okay maybe that this sheet of paper is still symmetrical but it is just that we have chosen the wrong line of symmetry. 
Okay, fine. So let us look at the other line of symmetry as well. This could be another possible line. Even if you consider this as the line of symmetry, you see that the two halves that you get again, they are not, they are not identical. Now, you think of any line that you want to. You, you think of a line like this. If you think of a line like this, you think of any line possible and you would see that in none of the cases you would be able to come up with two halves which are exactly identical. So this figure is an example of asymmetrical figure. So I hope that with these examples, it is now clear that not every object possess symmetry and those objects which possess symmetry are very much different from the ones which do not possess symmetry. So that's about the concept of symmetry. So as I said, we have tried with different lines and everywhere we found that we never came up with uh, identical halves. So let us look at this figure. So here in this figure, again, we have a similar circular sheet with slight difference. Half of it is plain and the remaining half is wavy. So what do you think? Does this possess symmetry? So do you think this could possess symmetry? So let us try. So let us try with the first line. So let's say if I assume that this is the line of symmetry. So if you draw a line like this, so it gets divided into two halves. Now, do you think that these two halves, one and two, do you think that these two halves are exactly identical? No. So the first half has a plane boundary. The second half has a wavy boundary. So they will never overlap with each other completely. So they are not identical halves. Okay. Let us try with some other line. Let's say if we try with this line. So now observe with the two halves very carefully. So here you see half of it is wavy and half of it is plain. Now when you look at this, here also half of it is wavy and half of it is plain. So this tells us that okay, here at least we have identical halves. Okay, so does that mean that if we place this half over this half, they will exactly, uh, you know, cover each other? Yes, that, that actually means that. So you just... All you need to, I mean, there is no need to imagine as well. You just take a sheet of paper in your hand, cut it in, in this shape where one side is like kind of curvy, the other side is plain. Draw this line, try to fold the paper along this line, along this line. You try to fold it. So the moment you fold it, you would see that if the two halves exactly cover each other, that means they are identical halves. And that would also mean that this figure possess symmetry. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.